Greetings. My name is Jeff West and I'm the president of Owen Oil Tools, a division of Core Laboratories. It is my pleasure to introduce the video you are about to watch. The video title, What If, is intended as a training aid to show explosive users the possible ramifications of a surface detonation. Or in other words, what would happen if there was a surface detonation with an explosive device? We at Owen provide leading edge perforating, pipe recovery, and associated equipment to the oil and natural gas industry. The tremendous energy of the explosive equipment used in our industry makes it imperative that each explosive user takes great care in the use of products to prevent accidental detonation. Unfortunately, a number of explosive accidents occur each year. The result in most of these accidents is catastrophic. While procedures are effective in preventing accidents, they are only effective if they are followed. It is the responsibility of each explosive user to familiarize themselves with safe operating standards and to follow them. We at Owen are strong proponents of the American Petroleum Institute's recommended practice for oil field explosive safety, or RP67. This recommended practice document provides the industry with a time-tested set of procedures for handling oil field explosives safely. It is our hope that this video will instill a healthy respect for oil field explosives in all users and graphically demonstrates the need for explosive users to follow accepted procedures. Please work safely. There are a number of explosive products used in the petroleum industry. Each is a valuable and necessary tool in the recovery of oil and natural gas. It is well known that explosives react with a sudden, violent release of energy. But over time, one can become complacent to the actual inherent danger. The video you are about to see was filmed at a secure location by professionally trained explosive technicians at Owen Oil Tools, a division of Core Laboratories. Under no circumstances should explosive users attempt these types of surface detonations for any reason. Have you ever wondered what would happen if there was a surface detonation? Simply put, the result would be catastrophic. Oil field explosive products range in size and relative power from very small to quite large. Detonators, for instance, contain only a few grains of explosive. Even with a relatively small amount of explosive, detonators can severely injure personnel and damage facilities and equipment. To protect users from accidental detonations with detonators, a device called a detonator safety tube is used. Detonator safety tubes should never be used after a detonator has fired inside, as the result would be a serious hazard. And users should not attempt to make their own detonator safety tubes. Perforating gun systems can be as varied as the production wells they are used in, and there are technical reasons to use all of the myriad of gun choices in various wells. Technical differences of perforating systems aren't worth mentioning, however. The different magnitudes of destruction in a surface detonation are all bad. The same can be said for the various pipe recovery explosive tools used in our industry. Components such as detonating cord can also be just as dangerous. It has been said that when working with explosives, there is no place to run and no place to hide. Through the magic of video, we can make it appear there is a warning. In the real world, there is no warning. Now you know the answer to the original question. I wonder what would happen if there was a surface detonation. 
Effective procedures greatly reduce accidental detonations. The American Petroleum Institute's recommended practice for oil field explosive safety, or RP67, provides those effective procedures. It is up to each explosive user to operate under these guidelines to prevent accidental detonations.